Next up on our Patriots offseason target series is a receiver that has already played with Cam Newton as a member of the Carolina Panthers, and it is Curtis Samuel. And the stat that stands out with Samuel, and there is some context that I will explain in a second, but the stat that really does stand out to me with Samuel and why he would fit really well with the Patriots is 3.5 yards of separation per target. That ranked sixth in the NFL. This is a guy that is a three-level threat with the ball in his hands and before the catch and can really get open. And on top of that, he has some versatility to be able to run routes from different alignments, whether it's moving him in the backfield or sending him in motion or out of the slot or out wide on the boundary. You can move him around like a chess piece, something the Patriots have always liked to do with their wide outs and tight ends. And on top of that, he has a lot of speed that makes defenses worry about a player like that, whether it's over the top or horizontally stretching the defense. I think Curtis Samuel brings an element or a, a, a level of speed and ability to create with the ball in his hands that the Patriots don't necessarily have in their current skill group. On top of that, I love the idea of Samuel even more because of the contract right now over the cap is projecting that he will get a three-year, $8.5 million deal in free agency, which gives the Patriots plenty of room if they want to go out and sign Curtis Samuel to then go ahead and make another move for a pass catcher because the one concern that you have with him is that he is a schemed open type of player, and I don't know if he's necessarily a true number one receiver. That's something that we saw in Carolina is that he he might not be that number one guy. He's probably like a really good number two or like a 1A to a 1B. And that's something that the Patriots might be able to do is sign Samuel to come in at the top of the, his market, first of all, which I think is going to be important because they're going to have to wow some people with their ability to kind of go out there and give somebody the bag, whether it's Samuel or another player. They're going to have to come up at, towards the top of their market to win that player over to come here and attract him in free agency. And with Samuel's market, it probably won't be anything more than about $10 million, so you might be able to put two guys together. You might be able to get Curtis Samuel and Corey Davis, or Curtis Samuel and Tim Patrick, another name that we've talked about, and adding two guys to that position group I think would do a lot of wonders for the Patriots. So again, a very good chess piece-like weapon. Move them around the formation. You know that Josh McDaniels has fun with those type of guys. Not going to break the bank necessarily financially. Not a true number one receiver, but certainly somebody that can really help the Patriots and bring some speed and some versatility and some ball carrying to this offense three things that i think that they desperately need